Okay, everybody, today's quick tip is project curves. If you've ever wanted to project a logo, text, some imagery down onto your surfaces in solids, this quick tip is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first off, where do you find project curves? Project curves is found under Create 2D, and it's under the utility section called Project Curves. And what Project Curves allows you to do is take lines, arcs, and splines and project them down onto surfaces and solids. Pretty easy, right? So you'll need some wireframe geometry and you'll need a surface or a solid, okay? What I'm gonna do is create a new layer and make it active, all right? Then I'm gonna go to Project Curves and from here, there's two pieces of geometry we need to select. Number one, the curves we wanna project. So I'll just go to a top view here and select that geometry. And then number two, the surface or solid we wanna project that geometry down onto. Now I do have a new layer and typically when I use project curves, I also change my active drawing color as well. So I can use both color selection or layer selection to pick the projected geometry later. Uh, now that I have my layer and color set up, I'll select on our model here. You'll notice that we do get a preview. And also because we selected the whole model, we'll also get the projection on the bottom of the solid as well. We'll click OK to that and then cancel. My next step here is just to blank all the other geometry. I'm gonna go to a front view. And from here, I'll select the geometry that I don't want. Now you will notice if I zoom in that the text uh, the Bobcad logo is now projected to this curved surface. And again, that's how Project Curves works. Now let's take it a bit further and let's go ahead and program this using three axis wireframes. So we'll turn our solid layer back up. Uh, we'll come over to the cam tree. We'll create our new job. And in this example, we'll use the solid model as our stock as though it was pre-machined. We'll set our zero and choose OK. Now the tool path that I'm gonna use is called three axis wireframe. You'll find it under the machine setup in the third group, mill three axis wireframe. This is a, a manual tool path, so it doesn't compensate for your cutter. What it will do is take your 2D or 3D geometry and convert it to G code. All right, so we'll go through our selection process here. Again, I'll turn my uh, solid layer off and I'll just window pick the geometry that I wanna work with and then I'll choose OK. My next step would be to pick the kind of tool that I'm gonna use. Now we could use a small ball mill, uh, maybe a, a, a center drill or a spot drill, but in this example, I'm just gonna use a V-tip cutter, 90 degree V-tip cutter and we'll choose OK. Now the last section that we need to adjust here is how deep it's gonna go. Uh, there's two options here, either cut to geometry or cut from geometry. Cut to geometry will be when you project your geometry to the depth you want it to cut to. Cut from geometry will allow you to cut deeper than where that geometry is located. In our example, we projected right on top of our surface, so we're gonna use cut from geometry to allow us to cut deeper. Uh, we'll type in the depth that we wanna go. Uh, we do have the ability to do multiple cuts if you want to rough it out, uh, but in this example, this, this will be just fine. We'll go ahead and choose compute, and it's really just that easy. Project your wireframe, uh, lines, arcs, and splines on the surfaces and solids, and if you wanna use it for an engraving application, use three axis wireframe.